Hey, Okoboji. I hope everyone is doing great, staying safe and healthy. I want to take just a few minutes to give you a framework from Scripture that might help us think about this crisis a little bit differently. One of the patterns that we see throughout the Bible is that when God wants to do something new, He often dislocates people. He creates by changing their circumstances. For example, Abraham was 75 when the Lord called him to leave his father's home and settle in a new land. Sarah, his wife, was 90 when the Lord announced that she would have her first child. Moses was 80 when the Lord spoke to him from the burning bush, telling him to go back to Egypt. After long years in the same place, all three likely settled into a regular pattern, a way of life. They may have even liked their circumstances, believing that they would go on indefinitely. But then God interrupted and their worlds were turned upside down. Even Jesus called his disciples to leave their fishing boats. One theologian calls this pattern creative dislocation, and we still see it today. In moments of great upheaval and change, we come to recognize our true condition, that we don't have control, and that's when we're ready to turn to God. And by trusting Him rather than ourselves, not only does He bring a fresh pouring of grace into our lives, but He very often brings out beautiful things, new things, in us and through us. And I wonder if that's the right way to look at what's happening now. In many ways, our world is being turned upside down, and this virus is changing everything. It's even got many people very scared. Creative dislocation, even in the Bible, is always stressful and sometimes painful. I don't want to minimize the pain and suffering that this virus may be inflicting, but I also don't want us to ignore the power of God to bring beauty from ashes and gladness from mourning. We don't yet know what new grace will come from this upheaval. We don't yet see what creative work our Lord may be doing in the middle of this crisis. It's entirely possible that some of the things we thought were permanent before the virus won't return, and we're going to have to move forward with God into this new world anyway. And in times of dislocations like this, it's good that we remember the word of Jesus when he said, In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So Okoboji, let's not be afraid. Let's trust that God is with us, that he's going to bring something new and beautiful from this crisis. And until we see each other again, I hope you stay safe and healthy, and I look forward to seeing you in August.